more, but I'm sure some of them are better than others. Okay, so maybe experience coming in. If you know the holds, it might give you a bit of an advantage, possibly. It could, yeah. We'll have to find out. Rio Nakagawa will be out first. Then Vita Lucan, Brooke Rabatu, Natalia Grossman, Laura Rogaret, Shianso, Yanya Gambra, and Natsuki Tani will climb last. So that's our order. We've had the men's comp. If you're just joining us, welcome to Brian Som. I'm Matt Groom, and I'm here with Alana Yip in the commentary box. We're calling the action for you here this evening, coming up to just past 9 p.m. And the athletes are uh, currently being held behind the wall. There's a little warm-up wall back there. It's not the biggest thing in the world. I think we'd like to see a bit. It's incredible to see how many people are out in that field watching. Yeah, Very so exciting. Whole of Brian's here. They've shut the road next to it in one direction. Yeah. It's a really big event. And uh, as someone who sat through too many comps without an audience during the COVID times, <laughs> it's so good to have people back. So Rio is underway. Let's find out what this women's route is all about, shall we? Lots of dual text areas. Got to be precise. And everyone seems to be talking about resting for the women because they find very interesting positions to rest in. Yes. <laughs> I know this is an impossible question to answer, so I apologize in behalf uh, before I answer it. Okay. But why other women seem to be so good at breaking sequences, to finding those heel hooks that root setters and other people can't necessarily see? Or is that too an impossible a question Ooh, to ask? That's a hard one. Is Maybe it just I would say that the female competitors right now have maybe a different amount of flexibility, mobility, uh, have a different size of bodies, different sizes of boxes that they fit into and like to fit into than the root setters. So they will find these rests which the root setters would never see because they just don't fit into a box that small or they could never get their heel that high, something like that. Well, I guess that's the argument for having more women root setters is that if we have women root setters setting women's roots, we maybe see less of these rests that weren't spotted before. Potentially, but it's not just, of course, yes, we want more female root setters, period. Um, but I think in general, it's just a more diverse group of root setters rather than everybody being the same, uh, you know, height and the same style of climbing, uh, the same amount of flexibility, the same body type kind of thing. Uh, you know, we just want more di diversity. You answered an impossible question very well. <laughs> that was good. Well, Ryu is underway. She is uh, coming up to the big overhang here. Quite like, cruisy through the bottom half. No real problems for her. And now gets a toe, two toes in action underneath. And that crimp, I mean, look, this is an example. That crimp she's on there has been blocked mainly because of the heel hook potential. Yes, of course, yeah. Because you can't get a heel in when there's a block, and that's and she's oof, tried to reach through, rechalked up, came down. I think it's a yeah, big lock off move here that she wants to find a way to get a heel up to assist her in that lock off. I th think she's found out that she kind of just has to do a big one arm lock. Yeah, it's a big crank here coming up, so. Yeah. Not much in the way of feet to help you. That's Come what she you. has to hold on to. She's still resting, pinching the wall, thumb engaged underneath. Drops back down again. And this is going to be sapping her strength here. Ooh. Comes out with a left. And then a crazy high heel. Is she? Oh, yeah, there is a small jib that she's heel hooking on there. It's not good. I... Ah, it's not good. She must be very good at heel hooks, too. Well, finally, Ooh. I think that was coming for a while. She spent so long thinking about committing to it. Yeah. It was good that at least, like, she fully committed to something. She didn't... And flashing light is some kind of an ambulance in the back, but I think I don't think it's rescuing anyone. <laughs> I think it's just <laughs> showing off in the background. <laughs> so Vita Lucan is out. She's only got one medal in Leeds to her name so far. 
and she's been in and out of finals this year. Was really looking good in Innsbruck. Made it through strongly into the finals. Yes. Sixteenth in Chamonix, seventeenth in Villars. So Innsbruck, her best result with that seventh place. And where Natsuki had the issue is where the route starts to traverse to the right. So where the uh, Sorry, Ryu, yes, sorry, where Ryu starts out, that's where she had that problem. Yeah, just a little bit into the overhead. So Vita, careful with the feet through here. Yeah, you want to be careful when there's a lot of dual techs around. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you could just stand up on the one below you thinking it's part of the volume, and of course it's not, but there she is precise with it. But it's an awkward move because you have to be really close to the wall to not stand on the dual text, on the no text bit. Yeah. So she's coming to where Ryu had the problem. You can see it there, that blocked crimp. Vita is one of those athletes who I feel like will commit to this sequence if she knows what it is. If it's going to be a jump, she'll go for it. Yes. So chalking up before it. I think she realizes this is the first crux sequence. Yeah, this looks powerful to get into that undercling as a Gaston thing. Yeah, standing back, legs and arms straight. Textbooks a resting position there. Right, so here we go. So she gets the clip in early, is eyeing up. I did Come on. The hold on the lip, gets it, locks it off. Is she going to go for the big cross through? She looked oh. for a heel as well. There's nothing to be had. That's why it's blocked. Oh, and oh. she drops down. Okay, so we, this is hard, this sequence. Goes with the left this time. Oh, also, with the. Oh, Ooh. touches the intermediate. She's going to oh. go, and she does. I mean, two very different sequences through. Like, uh, Ryu jumped, Vita went for the intermediate. And tried and to lock it off, Tried to lock less. it off. But it doesn't look like there's really any feet there. No, but I mean, she went, she looked, she put the heel in on the blocked hold, and of course it's, it's yeah. blocked and it's slippery. And she was kind of standing on the... All right, but Rabbitsy, what can you do? Knowing Brooke a lot. Yes, exactly. <laughs> she does that spin at the beginning. I realize this is irrelevant, but she always does that. She faces the audience and spins round. Yeah. It's, uh, like it's kind of a cool introduction. It's like, right, here we go. Yeah. Two silvers and a bronze for her. And a good boulder season and then transitioned nicely into the lead season. She was silver medal in Vilas. Seventh in Innsbruck, seventh in Chamonix. She's underway, so we know by now you have to be careful through this first bit, but it's not too hard. Yeah, it doesn't look quite as uncomfortable as the men's start was. Yeah, and then the stop and move, though, comes up. Ooh, big reach for her. Yeah, fingertips on. And Brooke is another one who's so good at those heels. Yeah. It's just it's amazing to watch. That was not a thing when I started climbing, I swear. We didn't do, we didn't do heels heel like hook? that. <laughs> yeah, like that kind of a heel hook. Oh, that kind of a heel you hook. Know, well, you meant heel hooks in general. No, like, no, when did you start going? Yeah, exactly. Forties. <laughs> <laughs> no, those comp style heel hooks, it's just, it, it's very impressive. And it's, uh, yeah. It, 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 yeah, it's some of these women use their heels like an extension, like an, a third hand. It's incredible. Exactly that. Yeah, it's like a hand. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's a real technique, and it requires a lot of strength throughout the body. Yes. Gone are the days of athletes just uh, doing loads of pull-ups and then calling it a day. You have to train everything nowadays. Mm. Whole body in action. All right, so Brooke gets stood up tall. How will she figure this out? If anyone can work out some weird heel hook shenanigans, it's her. High foot and a shake out. She gets ready for this. Four minutes, 20 on the clock, lots of time. Ooh, nice 
Nice, the double clip. Okay. Efficient. Yeah, how is she going to do? So we reckon that right hand on the crimp and then cross through with the left. Yes. Okay. Now Brooke takes a long moment to rest and read this. She, of course, will have had an idea coming into it what the move is, but it can change when you're up there on the wall. Yeah, the feeling can be different. Come on, Brooke. Well, this is what we think they should do. Right hand and then the big cross through, which she gets. Yeah. So, Brooke, finally someone through. She moves into the lead. Yeah, you watch her do that, and that, that makes logical sense. But yes. almost so does the other method, what they, the other women were trying. Yes. So I she, think the takeoff position for what the other women were trying seemed a little harder. Yeah, way more, and, and you have that feet issue because yes. the foot isn't there to do that move. So she wraps the heel over that offending hole that caused so many problems early on. Offending hole. <laughs> it's offending. <laughs> it's done wrong. And it now, wasn't offending to her. True. Come so on, Brooke. Does the hand swap. Getting big support from the crowd, as you can hear. And remember, she's only about halfway up this route. Yeah, there's a lot of climbing to go. And now she's into the pinches. There's a slice of dual text in the middle that doesn't feel very nice if you're sweating. So she makes the clip and look that right hook foot. I don't think it's on the slippy. Oh, yeah, there's a screw there's on a, it. Yeah, a jib. So she hangs out. Now, this is what we reckon is the second crux here because that the pinch that made up two holds linked together you can just see at the top of the screen there that one yeah that yeah. one that's i think this is going to be tricky it doesn't look like a very nice hold it doesn't so she's got it in okay moves through it nicely and then there's this triple dual tech sequence here there is a right hand that's available if you need it she doesn't Okay, so Brooke Rabatou, miles ahead at the moment, 32 her score compared to 18 plus for Vita and Ryu. Oh, she's got plenty of time too, minute 40 left. So Brooke getting big in current, you can hear Team USA in the background. <laughs> Great shot to show how overhanging it is. You can't see that middle part of the wall at all. Again with the heel in, matches to her hand. The dual text just continues forever on this route. <laughs> all the same hold. All the same hold all the way. So into the right hand, under clink. Come on, Brooke. Slaps out to the left, this could be cool. This could be a top for Brooke, but she's got a hard sequence of moves to come here. Slaps with the left, holds it in. Oh, that looks hard. Adjust three times, she's right on the edge here, and does Ooh. go down. Well, she had triple bump with that left hand that was, to try to yeah. get a better. <laughs> but she is miles in the lead at the moment, 41 for Brooke. Oh, that looked really hard at the top. Hopefully hard enough. Yeah, we'll have to we'll see. see. <laughs> I'm suddenly, I suddenly felt very nervous about saying it was, uh, it was going to be hard enough because yeah. we are only two in. Yeah. You don't know. Three. I think she felt like she had a little bit more. Yeah, well, she hasn't. Brooke hasn't run since the 2018 youth. So she'd love a gold medal. Yeah. So pretty tall order with Yanya in the running order. This is it. I was discussing this with someone the other day. You know, when you have uh, when you have such dominant figures, but then the thing is, you know, if those dominant figures weren't there, there'd be someone else, and mm -hmm. it's uh, there's always someone to fill that gap. But yes, in the era of Yanya Garnbrett and Natalia yeah. Grossman, it's it's a uh, really I mean, tricky Brooke time to be a woman climber. Right up there in the lead, but I still think, I, from what we saw in Innsbruck, Yanya is still miles ahead. 
Yeah, for sure. She, she's on a different level. Yes. But she was beaten by Natsuki Tani during the semis. Yes. So we'll see. Anyway, Natalia Grossman is the athlete here. Now, what a bolder season she had. Five out of six she won. Jenny Garnbre only winning the first one and then moving away from bolder competitions for this year. And Natalia just swooped into that position and she, she became the dominant one at yes. that moment. Yeah. Yeah, very cool for her. Has had a good lead season so far. Vila, she was third. Chamonix, sixth. Innsbruck, she was sixth. So no medals so far. But oh, finals sorry, apart every time. Vila, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, apart from Vila's, <laughs> yeah. You're going to read out the medals and say there's none. <laughs> oh, Matt. Anyway, yeah, so Natalia is still looking for a silver and a gold. Yeah, be Ideally, get, uh, just golds, but, you know. Yeah. If she really wanted the trifecta, I guess. True. And <laughs> yeah, now she has that taste for gold. She <laughs> can't take anything less. Right, so this is the sequence. Brooke unlocked oh. it. Oh, hello. And that quick draw has flipped the wrong way around, which makes it way more difficult to clip, as you can see. Oh, this is that unfortunate here. It's not her fault. She so. could call it technical at this point, but I think she's just going to keep climbing. So Natalia had to flick that around. But if she keeps climbing, she can't call a technical. And she jumps, holds it like Brooke does, but that's definitely taken something out of her. That quick yeah. draw flipped upside down after Brooke's run. We'll try to get something back here. Did look good through that move. No real hesitation once the quick draw was in and snatches onto the right, bumps again. And now this is a moment when Natalia will call on that inner calm she has. She's very good at shutting out everything. Yeah, very good. So all of her mental strength being tested here. Halfway through this route now, more than halfway. Thought about the toe, but her hand's kind of in the way, then locks it in. This is this tricky pinch sequence. The black shiny thing you can see on the left of your screen that covers the bolts. Root set is putting them in where there's the possibility of the athlete standing on them, because that is a possible disqualification if they do that. Yeah, and if they're just covered in something slippery, you can't stand on it anyway, and nobody wants a disqualification. No. It would be terrible. I'm uh, I'm waiting for a moment where a root setter starts to use uh, just pure no texture on a hold. It will happen, I think. Well, I've oh, seen it happen a few yeah, times. Yeah, it's, it's happened, for yeah, sure. Yeah, boulder comps, I've seen a few. Yeah. It's not fun. <sighs> no. Everyone hates a polished hold. Why would you want to climb on them? <laughs> So Natalia is into this triple sequence, blocked in the middle to stop toe hooks and just make it a bit more complicated. There is that intermediate which she uses, which Brooke didn't. Oh, Natalia's just missing the jib on the top of that undercling hold. Oh, true. Wow, yeah. makes it work though. Yeah, and what a fight this has been for Natalia Grossman. Ooh. Oh, again, doesn't quite get that quick draw. You can see the arms starting to uncurl. It's awkward when it's there by your hip and low. Yeah. Just three fingers there, drops the pinky off. So Natalia bumps up. She's into the business end of this now, into second position, going for 41, which is Brooke's score. Come on, Natalia. Hopefully she's able to get enough back here. So that's what she has to go. A couple of moves left, and yet, as we know, this is the hardest part coming up. You can see the tick mark screw on on the left of that volume. And hopefully she's seen that, remembers it's there. And then a final jump for the top, if she can get that far. It's further than it looks on screen, maybe. Oh, I don't know how many 
meters, six or so meters perhaps to go. Gets the toe and stood up. He's oh, standing near that yeah, jaw Yeah, she did. I'm glad her foot didn't slip off, I think. Yeah. Oh. So Natalia in full fight mode here. Eyes up this final part. Needs to bring the left up. 38 into it. This is where Brooke started bumping that left hand. Oh, oh. and she falls. Same position as Brooke. So 41, and she will move into number one's position due to count back. So Natalia Grossman in the lead at the moment. And with that flicked draw as well, that was an amazing effort from her. Yeah. So as you said, not her fault for that flick draw. Um, no. Usually we'd expect the root setter to tweak that before she climbs. Yeah, it looked like they, they didn't notice. Obviously. She waits to come out. All right, so Laura Rogera walks onto the stage. She loves climbing on these lead routes. Straight away into the air climbing, reminding herself of this. The athletes have been waiting in a sort of tented area behind this stage. And both me and Alana can actually see into that area. It's quite interesting watching what they're all doing, the different things. <laughs> Yanya is sitting very still, very peacefully out there. <laughs> So, Laura is underway, into the balls. Careful not to stand on the wrong bit of them. Fingertips again, Brooke did the same thing, right on the edge of the reach. Very confidently moving through this bottom section. Has that unique way of lacing her shoes. I haven't seen anyone else do, bringing the laces underneath. Yeah. You think that you'd stand on them, but obviously not a problem for her. She does always done it. Yeah, I wonder. Like, obviously the laces are very long, and her feet are quite narrow. But why she wouldn't just cut the laces? It's a good question. Yeah, it's very interesting. Good question. Yeah. Well, she wins. You'll have to ask her. Yeah. I think maybe I'll go and just not ask her on camera, even if she doesn't okay, win. Okay. <laughs> you guys just won't get to know the answer. Yeah. Keep an eye on Alana's social Until media. She next might, time. Yeah. <laughs> she might let you know. <laughs> You'll have to invite me back to uh, to hear the answer. You're then. always welcome. <laughs> so this is the hard bit for, or the first hard bit for the women. Yeah, let's see if Laura tries to go left hand or right hand here. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. So she gets the left foot up, toes underneath. She is looking to go with the right. Okay, so bumps the left hand across and a big spring and a jump from Laura. Nice, full commit. Yeah, full commitment. Yeah, it's that sequence. It does look really quite obvious when you see them do that, but for a long time, I just couldn't see that. Yeah. So, big heel from Lara. Comes into the undercling, will press on that heel. And she's another athlete who really puts on a fight all the way through. Remember in Innsbruck, which was stuck underneath the roof, looking in a bit of trouble. Yes. And somehow found something. So high oh, feet for her. Knee bar there. Oh yeah, true. That right. Ah, oh, she's good at finding them as well. Mm -hmm. She climbs so much outside. Yeah, I remember her doing a World Cup and then immediately going into climbing 9A like the next day and <laughs> saying it was her recovery. No, it was the Olympics. She competed in the Olympics and then she flew back and immediately did a 9A, <laughs> sort of like the day after landing. It's like, come on. <laughs> I think she wasn't super stoked with her performance at the Olympics, so it was probably just anger. <laughs> True, yeah. Got her you know, out of the jet lag and... Yeah. Okay, so Lowry stood up. Gets that foot in straight away, and Natalia missed it initially and then found it. Ops for the heel, though, instead of... I think Natalia had the toe. Yeah. So resting about halfway through two minutes 57 on the clock see the amount of chalk around that hole <laughs> that the athletes have touched and readjusted and reset on it yeah everybody's resting on the same one gets the toe heel in toes pointed back towards the ground 
textbook heel hook. Yeah, she doesn't really use that intermediate on the right. Does find the jib on that undercling, unlike Natalia. So Laura looking good, setting herself up well for this final couple of moves. That right knee dropped down to the ground. Taking a long moment to get ready. She'll know that the hard bit's coming up. So deep breaths from her as she looks to the next couple of moves, matches these slopers. There's a little bit of a flat spot on them. Yeah, everybody else so far has rested on this hold, so. But she just rested, so I'm not sure how much she'll utilize this. She's certainly shaking out on it. Tiny bit, not much. Yeah. Gets the heel in again. Okay, so we're a few moves. Look at those elbows, though, coming up. She's really Ooh. having to push here. Powerful move out left now. Yeah, and she's looking away, away from it at the moment. Oh. Can she find something? She doesn't. Oh. Slaps and misses. But moves into the bronze medal position. 37 her score. So 37 for Laura, and we have three athletes remaining here. Shen So, Yanya Gambre, and Natsuki Tani are our last ones out. Laura from her earlier. She's going from strength to strength. And she exploded onto the climbing scene, and beat Yanya. Everyone thought she was the next sort of prodigy coming through, and she has started to deliver on that. Was an Olympian, of course. Is an Olympian. Once an Olympian, always an Olympian. True. <laughs> I haven't. She got the tattoo. All the other ones. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, on their ankles. I would get a tattoo if I was in the Olympic immediately. I get it on the plane on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten one yet. Have you not got one? Oh, come on. I, I want to, but I went through a, a whole period last year where I was really doubting myself and my ability, and I didn't feel like I deserved it. But I think, I think I've come around. I think I'm going to get one soon. Elana, definitely get one. You 100% <laughs> deserve it and should have one. Ne this time next year, it needs to be there, OK? <laughs> so Shane So is underway. Rocks up on the left toe. Shane So is, I really enjoy watching her climb. She yes. paces herself very well. Mm -hmm. Good use of the feet always. And. Very nice uh, transitions in between dynamic and static climbing. It's very elegant to watch. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, that move she just did there, it looks like she's just kind of having a walk in the park, uh, yes. which is an overused <laughs> cliche, but it's true. She just looks like it, it's the kind of footwork that if you're taught how to do it, this is what you should look at because she does yeah. it very, very well. Yeah. Into the first hard move, though. She can still get caught out here. Yeah, we'll see if she hesitates, if she just does it, what, you know, what happens. It's interesting to watch, you know, Laura, Natalia, Brooke just didn't really hesitate. They got their hand up and, oh, but she hasn't, oh, she's going to flip down. Now okay. she's flipping, yeah, but not <laughs> off the best of holes to do that. Come on. Nice. Big swing out from her. So, good commitment for Shan So coming through. Yeah, executed pretty perfectly. I, I'm guessing the other women, um, Ryu and uh, Vita Lucan, who had problems with it, I, I think they probably knew that that was a possibility, but when they got there, it just felt wrong for them. Yes, I'm sure because they both went and set up for that move and then backed off. Yeah, so that, maybe that gut instinct was right and they didn't go with it. Potentially, yeah. Yeah, who knows, but that was their mistake. Down low for them, got them early. And now, Shane, so this is where I think you need to be, uh, the, the cleaner you can be for these sequences, the better chance you have on that head walk. Yeah, the more energy you can conserve. 
She is looking clean at the moment. Really good climbing from her. Massive celebrity in South Korea when we went there for the uh, for the World Cup. <laughs> Queues of people trying to get her autograph. <laughs> Matches underneath, and this is where a lot of people were resting. She's resting slightly differently here than Laura did, at least. Laura had matched uh, behind on the white and black volume, kind of cupping her hand on the, the seam of it, whereas Chaeyoon is, is uh, using the other hold. Yeah, fairly low on it. Cuts loose there and then gets the heel, rocks up on that pinch. Still looking very calm and... That's so chill from her. <laughs> she's just cruising it at the moment. It does, sometimes you don't know when she's getting pumped though. The amount of time she's fallen off and I'm like, oh, that was kind of a surprise to me because I didn't see it coming. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, some climbers are just like that. They don't look like they're fighting at all and then they're just off. Yeah, so don't look away here. Keep with it. She's in fourth at the moment, coming towards that top point. Haven't had a top here in the finals yet. One of the men managing it. So crosses through. And out to the left, gets the heel in. Makes the clip. And now how much has she got in a tank? What can she keep back for these sequences? Laura fell on the move to the left. Touched it but couldn't hold it. See the fingerprints of the athletes before. Oh, she goes right, doesn't really need that left yet. Now we'll look to the left. That was the move that Laura fell on. Yeah. So, and this is where Brooke and Natalia got to. Oh, getting the foot up looks a key here. Oh, wow. Guess that's a toe. toe. That was a lot of strength needed for that. Oh, oh then falls. So Shianso gets closer, she's got the 41. I think that score on the left is slightly wrong because Natalia was 41 plus. Yeah, it should be 42 plus, probably. Yeah, so wait for that to be updated. There's sometimes a bit of a delay in the update. Anyway, she comes down, no top, but close. And that will be... Um, at worst, a bronze medal for her. Because so, we just got two left. Yeah. So she has so another medal for her. Tries to undo that knot. I always think someone should just come and do it. <laughs> it looks <laughs> like we've all had that moment where it locks up and you're like, come on, <laughs> she's just climbed a World Cup for you. <laughs> or someone needs to invent a machine that does it for you. So she so is done. Awesome from her. Does build. Okay, Yanya Gambra is on. All right, let's see what she can do with this route. Yeah, she's not in her usual position of being last out. Maybe that'll take some of the pressure off her. And, and Yanya, something I've noticed about Yanya's climbing this year is it's changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. She used to have a slightly riskier approach, and she seems to have like gone a little bit more static. We don't see all of the flicks that she used to do, Yeah. especially down low. I feel like she's she's got everything to lose. There's almost, like, especially when the roots are a little easier, she has to top. And there's, yeah, there's not much to win because she's expected to. Yeah. No, you're right. And I think that's why she stepped it out. I mean, Innsbruck, she knew everyone had fallen. Yeah. She knew she had to be careful. And she could, could make that, uh, adapt her style a bit. And it's... It, it's still the Yanya we know, but it's almost just like a more mature Yanya Garnbrett this year. Yeah, it could be. Or there's just different pressures, so we're seeing a different side of her. Yeah. You know? So she crosses through immediately, and I think she will commit to this sequence and <laughs> jump through it. Yeah, I'm fairly certain she will commit, yes. Yeah. When she decides that she's going to go dynamic, boy, does she. The Anya flick that way. She kicks her legs behind her on some, especially the top of some bouldering moves, has become a climbing move. It's iconic. 
So that is the athletes who've climbed already, and they're all watching Yanya now, second to last athlete out here this evening. Come on, Yanya. Oh. Ooh. Wow. A little more static than some of the others. She was able to pull, do more of a one arm pull before it. Yeah, it looks like a scarier way of doing it because she wasn't quite as high on it. And it looked like she had to stretch at that last moment. I think that's why I got yeah. <laughs> thought she was going. It was nice. I think she used like more, a little more physical strength, but maybe it was a little bit almost safer. So that's the right hand. Oof. Then she unlocks it and crosses through. I think she's still feeling pretty confident here. So 3.55, got lots of time, more than halfway. Yeah. And this is the first rest. We saw Shenso resting very low. Yanyi goes for more, the more traditional rest, maybe with a high right toe or a heel, depending on who you are. Look at that left. She just dropped down to chalk up on. Oh, and a big flick from her. Oh, really pulling on that hold that not many other people did. So Yanya climbing it differently, uniquely. As she does. <laughs> she does, yeah. So Yanya gets that clip, and now we start. This is where it really comes into things. She's on 30 at the moment, needs to get to 41 plus to take the lead. One athlete to go, of course, Natsuki Tani will be up finally. That blocked hold, you can see, you have to be precise in that slot, which she is at the moment. Blowing the chalk excess off her fingers. And here we go, let's see if Yanya's got some fight here this evening. Long time resting, she's so good at timing. And now, at the perfect moment, she will get going into the underclink. Adjust the feet. You can see the crowd sort of wanting to get excited, but not getting excited yet. <laughs> and now they start Ooh. to grow in intensity and loudness as Yanya Garnbrett comes into the final couple of moves. Got lots of time and is climbing it really well in terms of management. Mm. High right foot looking a really good rest here. Every time she looks down, she checks the clock. Yeah, there's one on the, on the ground, basically facing up towards the athletes. So up she comes to the pinches. Here we go. Come on, Yanya. What can she do? I'd Will she make it another clean sweep here tonight? Can she? Remember, it's not all just down to her, Natsuki Tani as well. And now Yanya is really gritting her teeth as she comes through the sequence. This is where we lost Shan So in this next move. Out to the toe, ooh, thinks about a change in feet. This is risky. And there she goes into the lead. Oh, she's got to redo the feet, and now she's one jump out from topping, oh but she's goodness. looking like she might fall here. Yeah. High up, using Ooh. just the volume. Oh. Fingertip on. And a huge fall down from Yanya Garbra. It's not enough for a top, but it is 42, and it is the win at the moment. But Natsuki Tani is out next, and if Natsuki Tani can match her or top, she will take victory. Yes. I think that was 42 plus for Yanya. Okay. Definitely a plus. She moved in the direction. <laughs> uh, actually, the next hold might not be the top hold. The next hold might be that hold beside the hold that she was grabbing. And the same score or tops, she will win. And Yanya is in that strange position from her where she has to let someone else, you know, go. She's not all down to her. Yeah. Yeah, it's not very often where she doesn't climb last exactly. in finals. So her th best is a third bronze medal. Never got a silver, never got a gold for lead. Can she break that she here this evening? She made all the finals this year, right? I 
think so. Uh, Vila, yeah. yep, all the finals so far, yep. So fifth in Innsbruck, eighth in Villars, fifth in Chamonix, and then of course that second in the Birmingham World Games last week. So now to Kitani, as everyone has been at the end of their reach there on those first couple of holds. Palm on the slope, and this is all just about controlling your heart rate, keeping calm through the bottom. It's not too difficult until the first crux. Into the crimps as Yanya watches on, currently sitting in first place with that 42 plus, and there it is confirmed on your screen. So Yanya Garment 42 plus, Shianso 41 plus, Natalie Grossman 41. Natsuki Tani is into this first committing move. She will have made the decision in her head probably about what she's going to do here. But we'll have had the flexibility to know when you get there, things can change. Mm -hmm. She is rereading it. So Natsuki Tani matches the crimp, comes out with the right, and now she is going to throw this left. Oh, no, she's Whoa. not. Hello. <gasps> right, Natsuki oh, Tani. Still on. Oh, she's going to go for it again. Wow, okay. I mean, how is she going to make this work, though? Because she's now got a match. All right. No, she's good. Wow. Well, that was cool. Wow, she's still got on. Is she done? Look at that. Okay, I mean, look, she made it work, but that looked really high intensity. Yes. Wow. Okay, so Natsuki that Tani does... That was the does... most unique beta that we've seen I mean, she, she must have move on. discussed that, you would have thought. With, with, I mean, her teammate... With Ryu? With Ryu. And Ryu I know Ryu never did something... went for it. No, true, she did something totally different. So. But Ryu adjusted a few times. You would have think that if they had talked about it... Maybe it just occurred to her when she was in ISO waiting. Yeah. It looked quite instinctual to me, but... Yeah. I'm not a World Cup climber, so <laughs> it's hard for me to tell. That was wow. cool. That was really cool. I mean, I was just about to launch into my... Yeah, she goes to the left hand yeah, through, and then it was suddenly, like, wait, wait a minute, that's her foot. <laughs> but she now looks a little bit tired, though, as she should be, because that was magic. She's going to get a chance to rest right here, though. She's good at resting. Oh. Is, but yeah, went up with the clip with the left hand, changed it to the right. Wow, just at the very end of the competition, we thought we'd seen it all, we haven't. Yeah. What else can she do? <laughs> I want to see what else she breaks. <laughs> what else can she do foot first? Exactly, why not the whole see. thing? Go for it. But she is resting, she will have got something back here. She's got a left heel and a right toe. And another high foot. Cuts loose like Yanya did. Interesting how she always kept her leg the right side of that rope there through that sequence. Mm -hmm. Really smart, so it didn't get in the way. I think she's going to use the intermediate on the right. Oh, she's making the clip. Still got lots of time. So the right foot is on a screw on underneath. Hands in this slot, rests again. Now she gets this big drop knee we've seen and easily up onto the jib. She doesn't look like she's got quite as much in the tank as Yanya did at this point. No, Yanya did look fresher. Let's see how much fight Natsuki Tani has here. Oh, she oh, hasn't no. got the reach. Hasn't got the reach on the dual text. Gets onto the friction section of the route and now cuts loose and holds it reaching with the left and that's Suki Tani and the last sequence now How, can she get something best she's got the same rest as Yanya did yeah I mean, most athletes have used this rest so 
looks decent it does. enough. Yeah. I mean, not actually, but for them. She's like shaking her hand, trying to get the pump out. Yeah, aggressive shaking there. Minute left on the clock. We're leaning forward here in the commentary <laughs> box. I hope you are at home too, because this is what it's all about. Coming right down to it. And she's still sixth as well. This is the thing. It's all about these moves now. It gets hard in a hurry here for them. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh she does just... drop it. Oh. Well, Natsuki Tani won't make an impact on that podium. And you had a uh, word with a judge just now. So what's the situation with Brooke Rabatou? Uh There is an appeal that has not been yet confirmed for Brooke's score to go from 41 to 